Paul Ryan calls on Trump to keep DACA program protecting children of immigrants from deportation Speaker of the House Paul Ryan said Donald Trump should preserve a program giving legal cover to young undocumented immigrants, potentially creating a rift between the president and Republican leadership. An Obama-era initiative known as the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, allows unauthorized immigrants who were brought to the country as children and have clean legal records to get work permits and avoid deportation. Mr. Trump has sent mixed signals on his intention for DACA but a threat by Republican attorneys general to sue if Mr. Trump does not suspend the program is forcing a decision. Mr. Trump said he would announce whether to end DACA, a program that protects nearly 800,000 so-called dreamers from deportation, by Monday. We love the dreamers, Mr. Trump told reporters in the Oval Office. However, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders later said that the fate of the police was being finalized and would be announced on Tuesday. Most of the Dreamer immigrants came from Mexico and other Latin American countries. More than 200,000 live in California, while 100,000 are in Texas. New York, Illinois and Florida also have large numbers. What to do about Dreamers has been actively debated within the White House and Trump administration. One senior administration official described the debate to Reuters as a tug of war between factions in favor and against the move. In addition to Democrats and immigrant advocates, business leaders and some Republican elected officials have urged Mr. Trump to preserve DACA. Mr. Ryan threw his weight behind that stance during a radio interview with Clo Janesville, broadening a fissure among Republicans on Mr. Trump as signature issue of immigration. I don't think he should do that. Mr. Ryan said in response to a question about Mr. Trump potentially ending the program. These are kids who know no other country, who were brought here by their parents and don't know another home, he added, calling for a legislative solution. Senator Orrin Hatch, another Republican, said in a statement that rescinding the program would further complicate a U.S. immigration system sorely in need of legislative reform. Like the president, I've long advocated for tougher enforcement of our existing immigration laws. But we also need a workable, permanent solution for individuals who entered our country unlawfully as children through no fault of their own and who have built their lives here. And that solution must come from Congress, Mr. Hatch said. In contrast to Mr. Trump, who built his campaign around the vow to crack down on illegal immigration and build a wall with Mexico, and has since backed drastically slashing immigration numbers, Mr. Ryan has backed bipartisan efforts at comprehensive 